Hi there, welcome along to another workout for you to row along to. It's the 5k plan and this is week 4, session 5. And as always, we're ending the week with a mid-tier workout. Now today what you're going to do is 3 8 minute intervals with 2.5 minutes rest in between. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, how we're going to do the 8 minutes is we're going to do 6 minutes at 24 strokes a minute and 2k plus 12. That's around about 5k plus 7. And then the next minute, I want you to go up to 26 strokes per minute and increase the pace to 2k plus 9, which is around about 5k plus 4. And then finally, for that last minute, I want you to put the stroke rate up to 28 strokes per minute and row that at 2k plus 5, which, as you should know by now, is what I kind of deem round about your 5k pace. So we're going to do that three times. And then on the third one, that very last minute, you can go all out, go full guns if you wish, okay? So for that last minute, you can give full pressure. Remember, this is a mid-tier workout. So although as you go through the three of these intervals, you're going to think, I've got more in me, the whole point is to keep this at a mid-tier. And then that last minute in the third interval, that's the one that you can go for, okay? Don't push the slow stuff, push the fast stuff. It's not particularly slow stuff today, but I might as well just show you my t-shirt. So let's get into our four minute warm up, okay? So set the drag factor on your machine first if you haven't already. And remember, I have a video about drag factor on the YouTube channel if you don't know what it is or where to set it. Next up, the monitor, set it at eye height so you don't have to look up and you don't have to look down. And then finally, the foot strap set them so that they cover the bottom lace in your shoe or if you're in socks like me, they let you hinge forwards nicely at the front. Well, comfortably, not nicely. We're not on aesthetics here. You can look amazing if you wish, but it's more... <laughs> more about how you feel. Okay, so four minute warm up starting at 18 strokes per minute in three, two, one, go. Okay, so I say starting at 18 strokes a minute, but we're doing pretty much all of the warm up at 18, so don't worry. And just get your body moving. Just feel the press from your legs and the finish with your arms for the time being. Don't worry too much about pace or anything else like that. Don't worry about how deep into a compression you're getting and all the other wiffle waffle that I talk about. Just make sure you're moving a little bit more than when you were just sitting on the seat. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Start getting the muscles warm. Feel your force flowing through the body. Just get the, just everything nice and warm. Really, that's what I'm trying to say. In a very long-winded fashion. So now we're into the second minute of the warm-up. You're going to start to think a little bit more about body position. Think about your posture of your back which you want to be in a nice, powerful, primed posture with a lean in to one o'clock at the front of the machine and then a lean back to around about 11 o'clock at the back. And that's my general advice for everyone. But of course, you may have tweaks to your stroke, which deviates from what I say. We'll talk about that later. One more stroke and then put one foot on the floor and continue to row. So you've got one foot in the straps and I want it just to continue to row at the same stroke rate. Same stroke technique. Just push off with the leg that's still in the straps and just kind of rock back and forth with the foot that's on the floor. One more stroke and then let's swap feet. Same again. This helps. It helps you concentrate on what's going on with individual legs. I definitely feel like my my left leg is stronger than my right leg. So maybe I should do more of this single leg rowing on just my right leg. One more stroke. 
Then put both feet back in, slight bend to the knees, keep your legs straight, and then just use your back and your arms to continue rowing. So nothing from the legs, nice straight legs. The only bend in the knees is just to make sure that they're not locked out. And then rock forwards and backwards through the hips and then pull in the arms to finish the stroke. Okay, and let's do the opposite. Straight arms, slide to the front of the machine and push off with the legs. Don't have to worry about being too hard with your push off. All I want you to do is concentrate on that point at the front of the machine when you catch the flywheel and start it turning. Try and get that forward lean in and then Press out with the legs. Don't have to worry about going too straight. Right, let's get one more in. Oh, bang on four minutes. So there we go. Nice simple warm up today. But then as being our main session, starts off at 24 strokes a minute, you shouldn't need to be like super top warm like you would for a top tier. By the way, keep on moving up and down the rail, have a quick drink, and I'll just quickly go over one more time what it is that we're doing today. So today's session then, we're going to do three eight-minute intervals with two and a half minutes rest in between. Now, if you're going to program your monitor for this, please set your rest to undefined rest, okay? And that avoids uh, the two of us drifting out of sync with each other, okay? Now, those eight-minute intervals, you're going to do six minutes first at 24 strokes per minute and 2K plus 12. Then you're going to roll directly into the next minute at 26 strokes per minute and 2K plus 9. And then you're going to do the final minute at 28 strokes per minute and 2K plus 5, which is round about your 5K pace. Now, you're going to repeat that for the second interval. But in the third interval, if you want to start going a little bit faster as you get into those last two-minute chunks, then you can. I don't recommend pushing too hard as you go into the 26, but when you go for that last final minute at 28 strokes per minute, if you want to really push hard from the legs while maintaining the stroke rate, then please do, okay? Now, remember, this is meant to be a mid-tier workout. That last minute will be spicy if you go hard, but it should still keep you within mid-tier, which means an effort. We're kind of looking at around about 7 to 8 out of 10. Your speech, yeah, you should be able to talk a little bit, but maybe not too much. Uh, through the 6-minute, you'll be all right, but then those last kind of individual 1 minutes, it might get a little bit tougher if you're rowing side by side with someone. We'll see how I get on anyway. But we might as well just get straight into it before we get too cool, if I'm talking on and on. And obviously I mean cool in terms of not warm anymore, not cool as in the fonts. Hey. So here we go then. So we're going to start this first eight minute interval at 24 strokes per minute and your pace will be 2k plus 12. Okay, let's go in three, two, one, go. We're into my favourite stroke rate. 24 strokes per minute and 2k plus 12 is just like meat and potatoes for me okay that said I'm about half a second behind right now but hey we'll get there <laughs> uh, pace for me I'm looking to try and sit around about 157 for this first six minute chunk. That's what 2K plus 12 is for me. I remember, although I'm giving the pacing out at a 2K training pace, I'm also putting up your 5K pace because I want you to really concentrate on well not concentrate I want you to think about using your right training pace is what I'm trying to say there's a much point doing a 5k plan using a 2k reference as your body system might react differently for the both for the two events so once we get to the end of this 5k plan if you don't have a 5k training pace I really 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 suggest you do a 5k test and even if you do have one 
I suggest trying to fit one in if only so you know whether the training has been useful and whether you've got faster at 5k after all we're not just training to be thinner stronger or whatever we are training to try and be faster maybe you're not maybe you're quite happy where you are and this is all just about equilibrium for you who knows who am I to speak for you All right, so that's us three minutes gone into this first interval and halfway through the six minute portion of this first interval. Hopefully then you're nice and warm up, warmed up. So you can start thinking more about what you're doing with your stroke. Your body rock. What your arms like. How far forwards are you sliding? With the seat when are you connecting as you plant your feet down do you have a nice braced core at the front and at the back of the stroke are your arms nice and relaxed as you come into the catch are you maintaining that lean forwards as you drive out from the front of the machine and are you making sure to wait until your leg drive it's pretty much finished before there's any sign of an elbow bend to finish the stroke it's all things I want you to self-analyse in this first interval and we'll then go through it in more detail in the next interval but some self analysis right now will at least help you realise if you're drifting from the stroke that we've been talking about to each other well I've been talking to you for the past however many weeks okay one more stroke now we're up to 26 and try and go three seconds faster than you just were so that's 154 for me should feel this slightly harder your breathing's probably a bit more laboured might feel your hip flexors and your quads are reminding you that they're there okay so in three strokes 
one more up to 28 now 2k plus 5 so 5k pace this will probably take more pressure from your legs to get the pace right because you're jumping five seconds but only going two strokes per minute faster keep going hold your pace 28 strokes a minute we're almost there six five four three two last one one there we go it's definitely a good curve up towards the end because of these single minute portions of that eight minutes so over the course of the next two and a half minutes you should recover okay maybe not down to how you felt when you started that last interval but your heart rate should come down your breathing should settle down make sure and rock back and forth a little bit on the machine if you need to do some light rowing just to keep everything flushed then by all means do but I do recommend not doing full-on rowing during these rest periods make sure you've got the, the energy and power in you for the main session rather than sapping yourself in a rest period and do have a drink still haven't learned to start my watch before I start these sessions it's almost like it's as regular as me talking about what I'm having for dinner the lack of me pressing my watch tonight's dinner is salmon and broccoli pasta which I'm very much looking forward to I mean not by absolute choice choice but I tend to only eat carbs like loads of carbs like pasta in my evening meal Lunchtime right now, I've kind of tend to just go for like a chicken salad. Like just lettuce, chicken, drizzle of hot sauce across the top, and that's kind of it. Um, and my body seems to respond quite well to that. I just seem to, I must have a, just that thing with carbs where I don't actually need as many as I'm taking in. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm drinking like six cups of coffee with one sugar in each. I'm taking in enough carbs as it is. Right, so we've got 20 seconds to go until the start of the next one. If you're on undefined rests, press your button to get ready for the next interval. Strap in if you're not already, because we're getting ready to go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Right, so 24 strokes again. 2k plus 12 pace same as the six minutes we started with on the last interval basically doing exactly the same thing again six minutes at this pace then one minute at two strokes a minute faster and three seconds faster and then finishing off at 28 and 2k plus 5 which is 5k pace now I know I was talking diet just then but please remember your body is your body just because I seem to have found what works for me which is a 16-8 fast and then a no carb lunch and then carbs at dinner doesn't mean at all that that's what's going to work for you it may help it may help you lose weight 
but it might leave you zapped of energy in which case especially if going through this kind of training it's totally not ideal for you you want to pick any kind of eating plan that gives you either your weight loss goals or muscle gain goals whilst also giving you the right amount of energy to do what you want to do if you're going to crash soup only diet of 800 calories a day you will lose weight but you'll feel really tired and you especially won't have the energy system to get through a training plan like this so all I'm saying is work out what's right for you don't fall into any fad diet and remember if the fad diet is trying to sell you something like a book or supplements or whatever chances are all it's doing is making them money and <coughs> making you well have slightly less money anyway so technique sorry that was a long rant with diet we spoke about the back and arms in the warm up or well, it's the back anyway your back leans in to 1 o'clock and then back to 11 now that's body mechanically the safest way to start rowing as you get stronger you might start to see other people with deeper laybacks at the back of the stroke and you might start to copy them to try and squeeze out a bit more speed and must be said the slightly extra length you may get from the chain may give you a little bit extra pace but be sensible don't get that pace at the expense of injuries okay there's a good chance you can hurt your lower back or your stomach muscles intercostals shoulders forearms biceps by doing an exaggerated finish so please if you're new start off at 1 o'clock to 11 to 1 to 11 and only when you're sure you're getting your posture right and you're powerful enough to withstand the extra force only then and only if you really want to start to think about more of a layback and never think about that if you're rowing on a boat okay four strokes then we're up to 26 strokes a minute one more and three seconds faster so I'm going from 157 to 154 mostly the stroke rate takes care of my pace increase here <coughs> you shouldn't 
need to push massively harder from your legs and you certainly shouldn't be thinking about a stronger finish with the arms just let stroke rate take care of your pace because when we get up to 28 in a few seconds you'll need your legs two strokes one more here we go 28 strokes a minute 2k plus 5 so I'm looking for 150 which is my current 5k training pace and 2k plus 5 30 seconds to go keep that leg drive powerful to keep your pace up almost there six five four three two one good job well done Ooh. Ooh. I think I need a haircut and a shave I can feel the perspiration <laughs> running down my face and I kind of need to be able to see the monitor so that I can tell you where we are <sighs> well we're in a room rowing but you get what I mean duration wise and pace wise so that's two down one to go I should have felt like it took you up into the mid where is I yeah 85% max heart rate and I kind of, I figure me talking to you adds on around about 5%, if not more. So I'm happy with that. It'll do. And the fact there's only three of them means this next one, you can push a little bit and then you might scrape the underbelly of a top as you get through that last one minute. But it shouldn't really feel like you're exhausted and on the floor, which is the put half the sorry half, which is most of the point of why I'm saying keep to the same stroke rate. So I just want you to do for the last minute, still 28 strokes per minute, but get more pressure, create a bigger fireball with your legs. Okay, so press out from the front, feel the surge, feel your fireball growing. Okay, blue fire spreading over the machine as you surge out for them, the front of the machine for that last one minute. And it's only one minute, you'll get the power from your legs and it'll really develop and help your final sprint when it comes to a 5K. Because like I keep saying, stroke rate, like putting up to like 34 strokes a minute for the end of your 5K, that takes care of itself. But the power from your legs, you can still do with training and developing. Right, 20 seconds to go, make sure you don't have a drink. Press the button if you're on undefined rests, because we're going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So 24 strokes a minute again, 2K plus 12 again. Sign but should be back at 157. That's better. My stroke rate on my monitor is all over the place. Down at 20 and 23. There we go. So, this last interval is like a mini 5k, okay? So, this first six minutes is like the first 4,000 meters of your 5k so you're at tempo cruising along 
in your 5k you'll be working hard but you know that you can keep that pace going for the full 5k but when we hit the first of the faster single minutes that's like the 1000 to 500 to go portion of a 5k where you increase your pace a little bit but not at max and then the final 500 of a 5k is when you start to leave it all in the machine which is what we'll be doing for the last one minute of this interval so it's a little 5k microcosm now you don't have to go hard for those last two minutes you can hold the same pace you were doing before no one's going to complain or judge if you just maintain pace it's up to you you'll be working slightly harder anyway so that may well be good enough for you all right so run about three minutes into this interval three minutes to go at this pace so that's like 2k gone in our microcosm 5k start to think about your arms make sure you're keeping them nice and straight at the front don't bend those elbows until your leg drive is pretty much done and then draw your elbows through your sides squeeze your shoulder blades together and finish powerfully with good posture to your back and handle height run about sternum level then push your arms straight back out again over your knees nice and straight as your hip rocks forwards again slide your seat so your shins are vertical arms straight and shoulders loose fingers hooked over the handle and then when you're ready slam those heels into the foot plates get the timing right no butt scoot just pick up the flywheel as it's turning and push the machine away from you and feel the power surge from your legs through your arms fire your back into the handle also you can hear that delightful whoosh of the flywheel as you accelerate through the stroke into the finish and then forward and repeat and forward and repeat simple really <laughs> okay four strokes to go two more then we're up to 26 
strokes a minute from now. Now, I should be 154 going by earlier pacing, but I'm going to try and hold on at 152. to emulate the increase I'd go through in a 5k at this stage. Remember, your power comes from your legs, so increase that pressure. Okay, get ready. Two more strokes. It's got to 28 and lay in that pressure. Hold your stroke rate and add more power from your legs. Try to keep your posture and all of your stroke the same. Just create a bigger fireball. Okay, 20 seconds to go. How much power could you put in? Keep the stroke rate at 28. Push that machine. Come on, fireball. See it grow. Last stroke. Ah, good job. Ah, certainly up there, heart rate, heart rate wise, at the end. But because it was just a couple of minutes worth of surge, you shouldn't find that you're taking too long to recover, I hope. Okay. Quick drink, just in case you're a bit dry mouthed after that finish. Oh. And let's finish off with a two minute cooldown, okay? In three, two, one, go. So run about 2K plus 30, which is 5k plus 25. It just gives you enough activation of your muscles for them to cool down, give your system a chance to wind down instead of just stop. So that was week four done. Just one more week to go of the 5k plan and then who knows what? Well, I've got ideas. I'm not going to bore you with them again. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the variety of workouts through the plan has kept you interested for a start, but also made you fitter, faster and stronger. So let's hit this last week coming with beans. Make sure we finish out strong so that if you are facing a 5k test, you're not only prepared for it physically and mentally, but you're actually looking forward to it because you want to see how much faster you've got. Remember, don't be disheartened if you're not any faster. Just try and work out what it was that you were lacking. Last stroke for me. Sometimes 
It can be as simple as hydration on the day or what you ate the night before or maybe if you look back on your performance in the plan, maybe you were pushing some of the sessions, like the wrong sessions hard, like you were pushing the slow stuff, uh, which meant you then couldn't push the fast stuff so you haven't developed that side of your body to be able to hold on and keep pushing the fast stuff in a 5K. Remember, it's what the t-shirt says. Don't push the slow stuff, push the fast stuff. It's the reason it's on a t-shirt. Same as the carrot one. But I've certainly sold more of these than I have of the carrot. <laughs> anyway, so what did we talk about today? What was my big rant about diet? We can't really have a hashtag about diet, can we? Can we? Uh, have we had almost there? Almost done. I mean, I didn't do a, a hashtag on yesterday's, which should really have been um, podcast, really. So oh, let's just do that, okay? Well, will confuse people because I announced it in session four, the launch of the podcast on all the various iTunes and Google Podcasts and Podbean, etc. But just go into your thing, search for Row Along, and you'll see the audio version of these rows, okay? Well, you'll hear the audio. You get what I mean. You'll be able to find it. So make sure and subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff as well. But I'm kind of hoping that the audio podcast, especially if you've rode the main session as a YouTube video anyway, and it's then just a kind of a audio uh, trigger for you to be able to row it again when you're in the gym on your own and you don't have your, your phone running. Who knows? Who knows if it's going to take off or not? But I thought I might as well put it out there for you. So anyway, so the hashtag for today's row is just podcast. And then, yeah, like I say, it might be a bit confusing for folks. But that's us, we're done with week four, session five. Next up, we're week five, session one, funnily enough. So I'll see you in that one. Make sure and look after yourself. Don't push the slow stuff, push the fast stuff. Bye-bye.